Hi folks, it's Praxla Darna and welcome to Largesse August. Um, today we are going to be making a rather simple set of tags to mark your stuff. Um, I, I know it sounds kind of bizarre because they look, you know, your general site token. But um, one of my absolute favorite things is I bought this basket a few years ago. And as a result, um, I was able to pick, this happens to be ceramic, and I love it. It's just a little bag tag um, to mark my basket. And I thought, you know, it would be really fun to have matching ones to put on my basket and to mark my, you know, my glass or put on an armor bag or take with my luggage if I'm traveling and flying in someplace. Um, and I, so I thought a selection of them, a section of them would be kind, would be kind of fun to do. And they're super cheap and easy. Um, obviously you can do these with leather or ceramic or other things, but what we're gonna do since we're working with minimal price, minimal tools and minimal skill, we are gonna make ours out of some simple uh, little wood rounds that you can buy at the craft store. I got these, I think they were like, they were under $4 for a, a large bag of a variety of sizes and just a thin chip wood. Um, you could obviously cut your own, uh, all kinds of options for that. But again, we're going for easy and quick. So I bought these. <laughs> all right, so the next thing, um, you can pick whatever sort of imagery you want. Um, you could do little, little unicorns or, or initials or any number of other things. What I decided to do, because I happen to adore my heraldry, I went through and I printed up um, some of the, my various badges in, in a selection of sizes. Um, we are going to be decoupaging these, which is awesome when you're doing a very small, very, very small uh, piece. Um, this one, we're doing this tiny little thing here, which uh, explains to me, since we are doing a circle this big, uh, I happen to have a Ver Seablatt, which most scribes kind of give me this look. Um, because it works out great in a large size. It's not too bad to do, but as it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, it's not that fun to paint. Um, we're not gonna paint these, we're gonna decoupage them. So printing them on your computer, resizing them in a couple of sizes. Um, and you can do that, you know, if, if you don't wanna use heraldry, if you don't know who you're giving these to, you could easily just pick a fun image, go look, uh, look up on Google Images, look for something, a line drawing that's available, for reuse, print it up in a variety of sizes and make yourself a couple of pages that you can cut. So, so we have images. Um, next up, you can buy Mod Podge, um, which is awesome. It is available in both mat and, matte and gloss. I'm using the gloss. If you don't happen to have this conveniently, you can use regular school glue. If you go to Elmer's site, they tell you to use uh, a three to one. So three parts of the glue to one part water, and you can mix that up for yourself. The only difference between that and the Mod Podge is gonna be that this has a sealant in it. So you, you may very well may want to then seal it with a spray on um, sealer. So I'm using the Mod Podge because I had it, but ag again, you can make do with glue. Right now, since it is August and school supplies are cheap, glue is pretty inexpensive. Um, so let's see what let's see what we're gonna do here. Alrighty. So do do do. All right. So, my first, so we're gonna make, we're going to make this, which is just a basic circle with a hole in it with some, with some cord. 
I am starting with a very basic circle. Because again, that's what I could purchase. Um, I'm going to start by painting it in just a basic color. Um, I use just regular acrylic, again, because that's what I had to have had to hand. You could easily use a house paint, any sort of paint you have around. Um, and I painted both front and back. Once I hit that point, I am going to take and cut out my image. This is just regular printer paper. I didn't put it on, on anything special. So I'm going to take that, cut around it, and I end up with my little image. And it is a very little image, but that's okay. Um, if you wanted to, you could easily paint, you know, like a border on this or any number of other things. I just wanted the very basic background and my image. And then I'm going to take the Mod Podge. Um, it tells you to put it on both your your background, your base. Do let your paint dry. I want to make sure to do that before you put your glue on it. And then I'm going to paint the back of my paper with the, with the glue. And then I am going to put it down. Now, I'm, you'll notice I am not putting it in the center. That's because I'm going to put a hole in this. Um, you can buy these circles with holes in them. They come in a variety of sizes. Uh, but in this case, we went for as cheap as possible. And the first thing I found was the circles. You could also take like a branch of wood and cut it into circles. But again, that's going to require more tools. So just go through here, paint over your round. And because I'm using Mod Podge, that seals it as well as glues it in place. OK, so the next step, because mine doesn't have The next step, because mine doesn't have a hole in it, is to put a hole in it. Now, obviously, the easiest way to do that is with a drill. Again, um, we are not doing that because that's an extra tool. So I'm just going to use an X-Acto knife. These are thin enough that it they go through pretty easily to just take, take my knife put where I want my, my hole to be, kind of wiggle it around a bit. I don't need a very big hole, because I'm going to be putting a needle through here. But again, this would obviously be a ton easier with a hand drill. And that's what I used with my other one. But I was trying to come up with quick ways to do this with minimal tools. So tip of a knife will take care of this. Drill would be more recommended. All right. So the next thing I want to do is take uh, whatever I am stringing this. I am using silk beading cord because it's what I had, obviously any sort of twine or um, twine or string or yarn or whatever would work. Um, the super cool one I got originally was on a lovely piece of rat tail. Whatever you decide to use, make sure that, that you're, it'll go through your needle. So um, I am going to, I want to put both ends of the thread through the, through the, through the uh, hole, because so, I want to tie, I want to tie a lark's head, 
at the base here rather than just hanging it on. So I am going to thread my needle with both ends. Okay. Then I'm going to go through my disc, pull my ends all the way through. So here's my, here's my little loop. I'm gonna pull both of my ends back through my loop so that they sit, sit nicely there. I'm gonna tie a knot on the other end. Clip that off. And then now I can attach it to whatever I want by just doing that same, oops, I cut too close to the knot. Don't cut too close to the knot. There we go. And that way you can slide around whatever, you, whatever you're tying it to, pull it through that way. And you can put it on your uh, your bag, your belt, your basket, whatever you are attaching it to. Um, if I were to give this as a, as a piece of largesse, what I would probably do is do um, give like three to five of them, so that you can have matching whatever it is that you've decided to mark. Um, that's my preference. I just think it would be fun that way especially since you're doing it with very inexpensive uh, wooden circles. You could also do them in a variety of sizes so that you could have them uh, on different things. But anyway, that is today's super simple gift to give or keep for yourself. I'll be keeping mine because I put my, my heraldry on it. And now I can mark everything I own with my heraldry, which is always the best thing to do. <laughs> Thank you folks for stopping by. I hope to see you soon again with another August Largesse, Largesse August tutorial.